Good evening, this is Chris Work at Profit Dig. I want to show you how quick and easy it is to set up a new project and to create a bid using our application. I'm going to start by giving the project a name. And I'm just putting in some false information here. Next. Here I'm going to supply my markup. I'm going to put my profit margin at 15%. Tax rate 9.25. and do a 7% overhead rate. And maybe 1.25 for my bond. Targeted start date will be the 28th. And we're going to assume that it's going to take a couple of months to complete the job. I'm going to add myself as project admin. I'm going to go ahead and add my grade crew here. So now that's all set up. Now I'm going to create my bid. So again, I'm just going to say this is my demo. Project bid, my bid date, I'm just going to say today. I'm going to leave all of my margins and tax rates and all that good stuff the same. This will be the bid recipient. So this is going to be John Doe Construction, John Doe, this number. Put his email address in. So I can actually email the bid to him directly from Profit Dig. Plans date. Uh, I'm gonna say that was the first. And received. I'm gonna say none. Exclusions and qualifications. I'm just gonna leave this blank for now, but you can put anything there that that applies to your bid. So now that we've done that, now we're going to actually get into creating our bid items. So my first guy is going to be erosion control. I'm going to do construction entrance. I'm going to do a sub company here. We're going to use Erosion Specialist Incorporated. I'll say 1500 is going to be my cost there. I'm going to leave my markup. At zero here. This would be additional markup for the sub, but as a whole, the bid already has the markup which we supplied, so we're going to leave it at that. So here I have my raw cost, unit price, everything looks good. We're going to submit. All right, we're going to add our next item. It's going to be erosion control. We're going to do silt fence, standard silt fence, rather. I'm going to use a sub company here. I'm just going to estimate $2,000 for the amount I need. Everything looks good here. Let's, uh, oh, no, no. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to set this to linear feet. And I'm going to do 1,000 linear feet. So as you see, that brings my unit price down to two fifty, two dollars $2, my raw cost. All right, let's see. I'm going to add one more for erosion control. Let's do uh, some inlet protection. I think we're going to do a sub for that guy as well. I'm going to use the erosion specialist. Let's see, we're going to do 1200 for our cost.
Now I'm going to do six of these each. Okay, it'll be 200. That looks good. I'm going to submit that. So everything looks good here for my erosion control. Let's move on to grading. Do our grading. Have a train outside my door. Do mobilization. Let's see, I'm gonna do uh, see additional people. I'm gonna need a labor. We'll add Kenny. I'm gonna say probably 20 hours for Kenny. I'm gonna add one more person. The operator. Truck driver. We're gonna use Bill. I'm gonna need Bill say 20 hours here. And I'm gonna add an additional piece of equipment. Let's see, I'm gonna need low boy and truck trailer. Use the Kenworth. I'm going to need it for 20 hours. And I think that's going to do it here. And you'll notice that it's going to give us our cost here in this right column. This guy, I think we're good here. So we're going to do one lump sum. I think we're okay there. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to do another grading item here. Let's see, let's do cut to shift. Let's see, I'm going to need crew here. I'm going to use my grade crew. I'm going to estimate my labor and equipment at see roughly 40 hours and again you can always go back and change this <laughs> I think we're good there let's see our cut to shift we'll change that to cubic yard I'm gonna need roughly 2,000 4,000 All right, let's see, I got a couple more items here. We're almost done. Let's see, graded. Cut to export. Let's see, I think I'm gonna need my grade crew again. Let's say, hmm. We'll do 10 hours here. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's all we're gonna need there. See, we're going to do cubic yards. I'm going to say 2,000. Price, everything looks good there. I'm going to submit. All right, I'm going to do one more for grading here to wrap up my bid. Let's do, let's see. Grade roadway. Let's see, and I'm going to need my grade. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to need a person here. Let's do. Uh, let's see, I got to need an operator. I'm going to pick Lester. And I'm thinking 15 hours. I'm going to need a labor. I'm going to go Frank. 15 hours. I'm going to add a piece of equipment here. Let's see, motor grader. I'm going to do, let's see, I have two 140Gs here. I'm just going to pick one of those. And I'm going to assume 15 hours for that guy as well. I think we're going to be good there. Let's look at 
confirmation. Everything look okay? I think so. I'm going to submit. And that's it. And we're done. Now we have our bid here. This includes, shows us our unit price and our raw unit price so we can see what our markup is that we have on everything. Now, if, if everything were to look good to you, then you can actually download and email a copy of this bid for yourself or to the person that is receiving the bid. Um, now, I can preview this with unit prices. Everything looks good there. You know, should they require that? I can also preview this without unit prices. Everything looks good there. Well, that's it. Uh, now you see how easy it is to create your first bid there with ProfitDig.